The Braves, almost anemic on offense this season, buried towards the bottom of the NL in runs scored as young gun Jason Hayward misses another start with that tweaked groin. Atlanta matching up with Milwaukee and the struggles with the stick continue. Martin Prado down on strikes, not once, but twice, through for the Braves without a hit. As for their D, well, bottom four, you be the judge. Prince Fielder high in the sky, but this ball will actually drop into no man's land between three Braves. So Fielder is on first, and luckily for the Braves, their starter Tommy Hansen responds, strikes out Casey McGee, and then he'll get some help from Matt Diaz. That last defensive play, not impressive. This a different story. Diaz up against the wall, takes extra bases away from Jimmy Edmonds. This game scoreless through four. Top five, that ATLO finally wakes up. We saw Prado at two early strikeouts, not here. An RBI to left, first run of the ball game comes home. It's one zip, Atlanta in front. We go to the sixth, still one zip until this. Hit the center field and deep. Going back is Edmund, still going, still going, and gone! Way into the night in straightaway center field. Gloss's home run has the Braves in front, 2-0, and they're looking for more. Melky Cabrera goes to the corner in right. It'll go as a double for Cabrera. Now, Brian McCann, well, he's thinking about scoring on this play, but watch the great relay from Milwaukee. Weeks punches out McCann at the dish and stays 2 zip. But the Braves not to be deterred. Two batters later, Nate McLeod goes to the right-hand side. Weeks boots it. That allows Cabrera to score. Braves up three zip. And the monster sixth inning continues for Atlanta with Prado. Who says the Braves can't score? Here's the 0-1 pitch. Fastball high and deep to left. I think he got himself a grand slam homer. The grand slam makes it seven zip. And that was plenty for Hanson. Ricky Weeks, Ryan Braun, Prince Fielder all down on strikes in the six. Hanson strikes out the side en route to an eight-inning gem. He scatters four hits, fails to allow a run en route to his third win on the year. Prado started this highlight with a pair of Ks, but finally wakes up along with the rest of the Bravos. Two hits and five ribbies. Braves take the opener 8-2. As for Hayward, hopes to return to full duty Tuesday for game two from Milwaukee.